Make us blessed things upon you, Warden. Maker bless you. The end is upon. Repent your sins before death. Beg for the Maker's divine forgiveness. I have. I have repented. Oh, Maker, forgive me my sins. Forgive my fellow brothers and sisters. Look upon us with kindness as we are swallowed by the darkness. I... I don't mean to. I, I just need to tell everyone. They need to know. They need to repent before... Before it's too late. I was too late for my wife. She died so horribly. And she... She was not repented. I need... I need to help everyone. To prepare. Help me? There is no help for me. I just miss my wife so much. This is all so horrible. I... I think I just need to sit down. I need to collect myself. Horror awaits those who perish outside of the Maker's forgiveness. Good to see you in one piece. D do you have news of Elena yet? Well, I'll give it some time. Now's the best time to go into the castle, though, and see for yourself. Remember, a promise is a promise. Right. I haven't got much, obviously, but I'll do whatever I can for you. So we won the battle? If this is what war is like, with so many people hurt and dying, I don't want to think about what fighting the Darkspawn will be like. Van Tegan or Al Eamon will be calling for volunteers soon, won't they? They'll need an army to fight in the south now. I'll go when they call me, I guess. I'm going to get drunk first, though, if you'll excuse me. All right. Phew, some fight. Reminds me why I left Orzammar in the first place. Constant fighting. A warrior's life there is blood, ash, and dust. Though I'm not sure who's dirtier. These creatures are darkspawn. Rebuild. Same thing I intended to do before. Except this time, there's more humans left alive to help. First thing I'm gonna do is get some sleep. For about a week. Go celebrate or whatever it is you're gonna do. You won, right? You're a hero. Or... Something. Go celebrate, or whatever you have to do. Hey, anything for Redcliffe, right? Whatever. First thing I'm gonna do is get- Go cele- Go celebrate, or whatever you have to do. If I wanted to fight Darkspawn, I'd have stayed in Orzammar. No thanks. Go celebrate, or- Yeah, yeah, nice to see you too. Go celebrate, or whatever- You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? 
Exactly who I was hoping to meet. I represent a collective of mages interested in going about their lives without the constant scrutiny of the Chantry. The collective is a self-policing guild of mages who simply want to be left alone. We mean no offense to the Chantry, but we would rather live on our own terms. Next to me, and in every major settlement, you will find an inconspicuous sack containing requests from mages all over the land who need the assistance of someone skillful and discreet. Thank you, my friend. We have agents in every major settlement to reward you for work done on behalf of the Collective. Make us smile upon you. Yes? Begging your pardon, we have a lot more bodies to burn before we can turn in. We have to do this before rot thing. Good day. There are many gone who we must honor. But we must also remember those... These are terrible times. Just All right. Repent your sins before death! Beg for the Maker's divine forgiveness! I cannot. It is my sacred duty. Magic is everywhere. Everywhere! The time to repent has come! Ah, another one of the damned. They are everywhere! Going. Make her help us. What will we do now? What do Darkspawn look like? Worse than those things we fought? No, 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 wait. I, I don't want to know. Ah, oh, don't mind us. Just talk, that's all. So, what does a Darkspawn look like, anyhow? You ever seen one? Can't say Battles I Battles aren't to. done yet. The Darkspawn will be on our doorstep before we know it. I say Surely later. the king is doing Much something later. about it. Many people were lost for this victory. I hope the. I don't know how I survived that damnable mess out there, but I did. I suppose I owe you thanks. The men respect me now. I would never have gone out there if you hadn't shoved me. It feels good to help out. I suppose I do. I might not be like you. But I'm not a coward hiding in his inn, either. Listen, a soldier gave me this trinket some years ago as payment for his tab. He said it was magical. I didn't believe him then, but I think it helped keep me alive out there. You should have it. It might do the same for you sometime. Yes, well, don't go spreading news that I gave you something for free. Then everyone will want something from me. Anyhow, it's good to be back. I don't want to be in battle again any time soon, know what I mean? I admit, for a while, I didn't think either of us would survive. It's good to see you did. Anything I can get you? Fair enough. Let me see what Lloyd stored in the back. You can help yourself. You put Bella in charge. You want something? You gotta talk to her.
indeed. It is sad to think of how much death there has been here. But we have saved the village beyond all expectations. You have done well, my friend. I will remain here to guard the village and receive any fellow knights as they continue to return. At least until the castle is retaken. Move along, friend. Oh, wonderful. I always appreciate correspondence from my upstanding friends in the Collective. On behalf of myself and my men, I thank you. I'll make sure the Collective's generosity is reciprocated. On your way now. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. I had no idea what lurked in the castle, and I couldn't abandon the people of the village. What if... Maker's breath. Tigan. Thank the Maker you yet live. Isolde. You're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I... need you to return with me, Tigan. Alone. What? I... Who is this man, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Isolde, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Burden me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Please, Lady Isolde, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I, I... I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and hunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. He is. He is being kept alive so far, thank the Maker. Kept alive? Kept alive by what? Something the mage unleashed. So far it allows him and Connor and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. It killed so many and turn their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. I... I, I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? I, I can't let it hurt my Connor. 
You must come back with me, Tigan. Please. He is an infiltrator, I think. Uh, one of the castle staff. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Eamon was poisoned? He claims an agent of Terran Loghain's hired him. He may be lying, however. I cannot say. I... I beg your pardon? That's a rather impertinent accusation. No! I did not mean... That is to say, I... I please, stop this! An evil I cannot fathom holds my son and the husband hostage. I came for help. What more do you want from me? Tigan, I do not have much time. What if it thinks I'm betraying it? It could kill Connor. Please come back with me. Must I beg? For Connor's sake, I promised I would return quickly and only with Tigan. Tigan, I know you could order your men to follow me when I return to the castle. I beg you not to. For Connor's sake. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isolde. Oh, thank the Maker. Bless you, Tegan. Bless you. I'm not certain, to be honest. I cannot let Isolde return alone. Perhaps I can help Connor or Eamon. Perhaps this is really a trap, but this is my family. I must try. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? I wish I knew. I don't know any more about this evil force than Isolde seems to. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. Don't you need Eamon's help against Terran Loghain or the Darkspawn? If that's not enough, do it for whatever wealth you can find in the castle. My brother is... or was... a wealthy man. If you help his family, I am sure he will overlook anything you take in the process. So we are just going to send him with that woman? It seems so dangerous. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. Van Tegan informed me that he would like us to wait at the castle gate, should you get the opportunity to open it. I would prefer to enter the castle with you, but he is right. Someone must remain to guard Redcliffe and bring word to the king should our plan go awry. At any rate, I will go to the gates now. May you remain in the Maker's sight, my friend.
I locked myself in a cage once when I was a child. For an entire day. Ah, good times. Is there anyone alive out there? Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? You've spoken to her? Then you know what I did. I'm not proud of my deed. Poisoning Arl Eamon was what I was hired to do. Lady Isolde had no idea when she took me in to tutor her son, of course. I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She... had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So, they left me to rot. I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Maleficar. A blood mage. You? A blood mage? Truly? I would never have guessed. A blood mage? Well, that isn't good. I dabbled in the Forbidden Arts, and they condemned me to death for it. I thought Loghain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart, and I'm responsible! I have to make it right somehow, I have to! Connor had started to show... signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the Circle of Magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the Circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. because he would be taken away forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful Arl. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was humiliating. No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. Son. But he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. I have thought about it, and it's possible Connor could have inadvertently done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks, or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Like yourself, you mean? Everyone deserves a chance to redeem themselves in the Maker's eyes. This man, no less than any. I don't know. He is a blood mage. But this is an unusual situation. Give me a chance, please. I... 
Well, I tried to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. Afterwards, I assume I'll be arrested, or executed, or whatever people like me get. I'm tired of running from the circle. I need to account for what I've done. I'd stay and try to help if I could. Perhaps I can help deal with whatever's been unleashed here. I don't think it will redeem me, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't try. I'm glad you think so. So what now? You're letting me out? And what then? I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger exactly. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow. like a brush with death to make you not like death much? I'll do it. Yeah! <laughs> 
going. All right. And I'm off. I'm off. like those, really. Make this clear! 
Let's finish this. Well together. And I'm off. Don't look now. Lesser's maid. Is she all right? What happened to everyone? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? But, but the monsters. I'll find my way. I can run fast, and I know the castle. Thank you.
your drooling to save some dignity. I never like this part. Run while you can in trouble. Going. Hmm. And I'm off. As you wish.
it. Word went out to retrieve the Isle's men even more quickly. Oh, it is sad. This battle is but we one victory. One evil only the battle with the dark one lying yet on remains. the horizon. We must reassemble Redcliffe's army quickly. You have opened the gates. That is good. My men and I are eager to see our Isle again. Shall we enter the main hall together? It must be held if we are to regain control of the castle. As you wish, we will hold the gate and watch for anyone attempting to leave. Let me know if the situation changes. And I'm off. What is the situation? Shall we go to the hall with you, or shall we wait here? Excellent. Let us go now then, and see what awaits us there. So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. Now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This is a dwarf, Connor. You... You've seen dwarves before. We've had them here at the castle. Had them? For dinner, maybe. Looks like a tough chew. Maybe in a nice stew. <laughs> Shall I send it to the kitchen, Mother? Connor, I beg you. Don't hurt anyone. Ma Mother? What? What's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the Maker. Connor. Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman! You are beginning to bore me. Maker's breath. What has happened here? 
Grey Warden, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. And made a deal with the demon to do so? Foolish child. It was a fair deal. Father is alive. Just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody! Ha 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 ha! Quiet, Uncle! I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. This man will have the audience he seeks. Tell us, what have you come here for? So you're a concerned well-wisher. Why didn't you say that in the first place? All this sneaking around and killing is so unnecessary. But father is so very ill. We really shouldn't disturb him. Isn't that right, mother? I... I don't think... Of course you don't! Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. This man spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village, and now he'll repay me. Better now, I think. My mind is my own again. Blessed Andraste. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. What a fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. I... Yes. I didn't tell you because I believed we could help him. I still do. I'm sorry, my lady, but Connor has become an abomination. He's no longer your son. You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. Ah. 
How dare you! If this man hadn't poisoned my husband, none of this would have happened. He should be executed. Your secrecy made his actions possible, Isolde. But I... I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry. I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help. Not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please, I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret, to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... I think he ran upstairs, to the family quarters. Violence scares him. I know that sounds strange. He may have run up to his room, or... I don't know. The fighting may have scared Connor into coming out again, and so he ran. So you're saying he may be vulnerable? I... perhaps. Is there... is there no other way? Upstairs in his room. I think the demon has been keeping him alive. So if we destroy the demon, then... Then my husband may perish. Yes. None. I trusted Loghain. Why wouldn't I? How could I have suspected the mage he sent would be a murderer? And Eamon knew nothing of your plans? Do you not realize what you've done, Isolde? Eamon would only demand we do the right thing. I was not going to lose my son. Not to... to magic. He left Connor's raising to me. When I discovered it, I was frightened. I didn't know what to do. And so you brought doom upon us all and death to your own son. No. No, please. There must be another way. There must be something we can do. I wouldn't normally suggest slaying a child, but he's an abomination. I'm not sure there's any choice. We can't kill a young boy, demon or no demon. Please don't say we're considering that. Connor is my nephew, but he is also possessed by a demon. Death would be merciful. There is another option, though I loathe offering it. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages, but I have blood magic. Lyrium provides the power for the ritual, but I can take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. So, someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. The power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Then let it be my blood. I will be the sacrifice. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. 
To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. It does seem like a sensible choice, with a willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. It... Uh, it's up to you, my friend. You know more about such things than I do, and it's your companion going into the Fade. The decision is yours. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. That is an excellent point. One of the treaties is also for the Circle of Magi, after all. The tower is about a day's journey across the lake. You could attempt to get the mages' help. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. I've told you the only thing I can think of that might help. We received no word from the Circle of Magi yet. Connor remains quiet for the moment. He remains upstairs for the moment. I, I have no idea what will happen if someone tries to go up there. As you wish. I hope that something will come of it, and soon. I do not like this talk of possessions and spirits and... and magic. It is unnatural. All right.
Yes. All right. What now? Ah, uh, tis you. Of yes. all the... Yes. Rough travels out here, eh? We even saw dark spawn on the way in. We're delivering a message to the Chantry in Denerim. You? We saw a blood mage down near the Brazilian forest. We're off to tell the Chantry about him. I thought you said... Wait, you're serious? Hey, no need to get pushy. We were just in it for the experience. Going. We're coming here to see the mages, right? Oh, great. They just love me.
You ever wonder why the mages built their tower out in the middle of Lake Kalanhad? They have an aversion to practicality or something? Why, bless my soul, what's a distinguished personage like yourself doing here? A mage? Me? That'll be the day, I tell you, that will be the day. I'm the ferryman, leastwise I used to be. Poor old Kester, out of a job. Gregor just came down and said, don't you worry, Kester, we got it all under control, we do. Didn't say nothing else. And then he puts Carol in charge of my boat, Lissy, named for my grandmum she was. He's Knight Commander of the Templars up in the tower. Good man. I told you, they didn't tell me nothing. And if I know they're mages, I'm better off keeping out of their business. If I had to guess, I'd guess it had to do with magic. But the tower's always got something to do with magic. You could try swimming, but I don't recommend it. Nasty things in that lake. I reckon it's all them potions they dump in there. Gregor's told me to stay here till it blows over, but I'm telling you, some storms don't blow over easy. Maybe you could at that. I'm sure your mind's all afire now, eh? I reckon it's good for them mages. Gather them all, learn them some proper magics. I know what they say about mages, but the Maker made them for a purpose. If you can't trust him, who can you trust? Oh, I can't say that. I'm lucky he's good enough to give me the time of day. The first enchanter's all right. He's polite as can be, but he's always a little distant if you get my drift. But Gregor will stay to talk. I reckon he likes hearing from us common folk, you know? He's a man to be respected, that Gregor. All right. Keep safe, you hear? A little something extra. For friendship. Leave me alone. What are you looking at? Hmm. Gentlemen, drink in peace. Good day. Good day, and welcome to the Spoiled Princess. Is there something I can get for you? It was my father's idea. He ran the inn before me, and he named it for my sister. She was his little princess. Princess decided the country was too dull for her and moved to Denerim. More glamorous, she said. Well, she was found murdered, robbed of all the trinkets my father bought her with his hard-earned money. My father died of shock and heartbreak. Mother stopped eating, and I got the struggling in. The name stuck. That's a story. Of course, what would you like?
Welcome back to the Spoiled Princess. How may I serve you? All right. Yes? Oh? What was this about? I worried this might happen. I hoped it wouldn't be you who came for me. I have no choice. Forgive me, Warden. But I cannot go back with you. Now let's oh! see. Which one first? <laughs> 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 You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. I am the person appointed to stop all unauthorized access to the Circle Tower. Meaning you, because you're unauthorized. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. Yes? Oh, a Grey Warden seal. Aha! So you're claiming to be one of those. You know, I have some documents too. They say I'm the Queen of Antiva. What do you think of that? Kill some Darkspawn. Come on. Let's see some righteous Grey Wardening. Ugh, semantics. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go. Uh, is that bad? Look, I'm uh, just trying to do my job. 
I'll take you right now, just like you wanted. Come along, I suppose. And I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. The doors are barred. Are they keeping people out or in? Now we wait and pray. Who are you? I explicitly told Carol not to bring anyone across the lake. We're dealing with a very delicate situation. You must leave for your own safety. I am weary of the Grey Warden's ceaseless need for men to fight the Darkspawn, but it is their right. You'll find no allies here. The Templars can spare no men, and the mages are indisposed. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. The circle is lost. The tower has fallen. I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the Mage Circle. Completely. The Mages are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. If any are still alive, the Maker himself has shielded them. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... nothing. A while ago, and it worries me, the Civil War has no doubt caused much turmoil. Has the Chantry been caught up in it? I can only guess. Denrim must have received our message. It cannot be much longer. I too would like to know how this started. You must face and slaughter the abominations to get to the bottom of this. Are you sure you can handle them? If you succeed, I would owe you much, enough that I would pledge my Templars to your cause. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. We have nothing to offer you but gratitude and service. I have heard the tower holds many valuable artifacts. I expect we'll have to consider them lost or destroyed. Perhaps that is best. A Grey Warden has many other things to be concerned about.
I wonder what's going on up there. I don't want to die. I wish this were over. We're running low on supplies and I don't know how much longer we'll last. We need the abominations and demons out of this place, if that's what you mean. If you have anything to trade, that would be helpful too. I don't want to die. So the mages are all guard. locked within. They could attack at any Fitting moment. Fitting end for those who gave up their own freedom. Yes, was there something else you wanted? As I said, I do not know. Perhaps you will find answers in the tower. This must be resolved quickly. If you can destroy the abominations, I will pledge my men to your cause in return. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one, until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. I don't want to die. I lied to you, you know, about why I left Orle. I didn't feel like talking about it then, what happened to me. Maybe it will affect us, maybe not, but you should know. I came to Ferelden and the Chantry because I was being hunted in Orle. I was framed, betrayed by someone I thought I knew and could trust. Marjolaine. She was my mentor and friend. She taught me the bardic arts, how to enchant with words and song, to carry myself like a highborn lady, to blend in as a servant. The skills I learned, I used to serve her, my bardmaster, because I loved her. 
and because I enjoyed what I did. You can say it was my fault. There was a man I was sent to kill. I was to bring Marjolaine everything he carried. I don't know who this man was. She gave me a name and a description, and I hunted him down. I found documents on his body, sealed documents. My curiosity got the better of me. Something told me that I needed to know what was in those letters. Marjolaine had been selling all kinds of information about Orlais to other countries, Nevara and Antiva among others. It was treason. Some. But I had always assumed Marjolaine only operated within Orlais. This was an unhappy surprise for me. My life has barred, taught me that my loyalties should be kept fluid. My concern was not that she was a traitor, but that her life would be in danger if she was caught. Orle has been at war with so many countries, it takes a harsh view of such things, as I later discovered. I should have left well alone, but I didn't. I had to tell Marjolaine I feared for her life. She brushed aside my concern. She admitted her guilt, but said it was in the past. That is why the documents had to be destroyed, she said. I believed her. I kept believing up till the moment they showed me the documents, altered by her hand to make me look the traitor. Yes, the Orlesian guards. They captured me. Did terrible things to make me confess and reveal my conspirators. It was a traitor's punishment I endured. And at the end of it, all that awaited me was eternity in an unmarked grave. The skills Marjolaine taught me were good for something at least. I broke free when I saw the opportunity. I did not seek Marjolaine out. If she thought I was coming for her, she would have me caught again. I was tempted to confront her. I was furious, betrayed. But what could I do against her? And so I fled to Ferelden, to the Chantry and the Maker. Ferelden protected my person, and the Maker saved my soul. And that is the reason I am here. The real reason. No more lies between us, at least in this. It feels good to have this off my chest. Thank you for listening and understanding. Indeed. Indeed? Yes. I don't want to die. Going.
it's you. No, come no further. Grey Warden or no, I will strike you down where you stand. I am a mage of the Circle. More importantly, why are you here? The Templars would not let just anyone by. And you were told that the Circle was in no shape to help you, I suppose. So why did the Templars let you in? Do they plan to attack the tower now? <sighs> they sent for it then. I feared they might have. What else could they do? So Gregor thinks the Circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. Let it suffice to say that we had something of a revolt on our hands, led by a mage named Aldred. When he returned from the battle at Ostagar, he tried to take over the Circle. As you can see, it didn't work out as he had planned. I don't know what became of Aldred, but I am certain all this is his doing. I will not lose the Circle to one man's pride and stupidity. I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. Yes, even if we cannot eliminate all the demons and abominations, Together, we could lead the survivors out. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Petra and Kenan will watch them. If we slay all the fiends we encounter on our way, none will get by to threaten the children. You want us to assist this preachy schoolmistress to rescue these pathetic excuses for mages? They allow themselves to be corralled like cattle, mindless. Now their masters have chosen death for them, and I say, let them have it. Look at how they live. Servants of the Chantry. They lack respect for themselves and their own power. Why should I respect them? Have it your way. Petra, Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. Wynne, are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. If you are ready, let us go end this. Yes. Indeed. Of all Indeed. the... Indeed.
Look after her, will you? I don't know if she's up to this, especially not after... I just worry. I was on my way down to the library when I heard screaming and a demon came around the corner. Its eyes were afire with evil. I was certain it was my death come upon me. I think I screamed. I was so afraid. And then Wynne was there, in front of me, shielding me. It was light and fire, blood and chaos. When it was over, the demon was dead, but Wynne wasn't moving either. I was so afraid she was... gone. As I moved to help her, she stirred and coughed. I don't know what I would have done if she had died for me. Just look after her, all right? She might be completely fine, but then again, maybe she didn't come away from that totally unharmed. Thank you. And thank you again for helping us. It is good to see that some wardens survived. We are sorry for the loss of your comrades. You heard about Loghain. I would never have imagined the Tarn a traitor. Wynn was at Ostagar. She told us everything upon her return. But why speak of things past? Be careful in there, and stay safe. I heard the Templars talking about chasing down a Malefica yesterday. I don't suppose this is what you expected the Circle to be like, is it? I keep thinking this is our punishment for being mages. That's why the Templars have to... to do away with us. Their swords are like the... The Sword of Mercy that sent Andraste back to the Maker. We should let the Templars come. Only then can we be cleansed of our wickedness. I will pray. May we abandon our tainted bodies to find peace with the Maker. I hate this place. It smells funny. Here we are. <laughs> I'm somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. It made me very weary at times, but I had to stay strong to keep us safe. Be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? All right. Be on your guard.
As you say. <laughs> I shall do so. All right. I'm 
them off. Out with it. Ready. blood and I'm off
I'm off. As you say. Yes. Immediately. Going. What now? I'm off. Immediately.
Oh, this is rather awkward, what? I'm not supposed to be... Oh, this is rather awkward, what? I'm not supposed to be here. Not right at all. All right. Ooh, you feel that? It's actually colder up here. Please refrain from going into the stockroom. It is a mess and I've not been able to get it into a state fit to be seen. I was trying to tidy up, but there was little I could do. Of course, I am defenseless and if I ran into one, I would surely perish. I tried to leave when things got quiet. That was when I encountered the barrier. Finding no other way out, I returned to work. Oh, Wayne, you should have said something. I would have opened the door for you. The stockroom is familiar. I prefer to be here. No. I suppose I should count myself lucky. I would prefer not to die. I would prefer it if the tower returned to the way it was. Perhaps Nial will succeed and save us all. I do not know. But he came here with several others and took the litany of Adrala. But that protects from mind domination. Is blood magic at work here? I do not know. Nial was in the meeting. He would know. Blood magic. I was afraid of this. We should find Nial. The litany will give us a fighting chance against any blood mages we encounter. I wish you luck. Perhaps this will be over soon and things will return to the way they were. Goodbye. Please do not draw attention to me. I would like to re remain in one piece. What are we doing? You. Have you thought about it? I heard something. Keep your eyes open. Please don't kill me. I know I have no right to ask for mercy, but I didn't mean for this death and destruction. We were just trying to free ourselves. Aldred told us that the Sergo would support Loghain, and Loghain would help us be free of the Chantry. You don't know what it was like. The Templars were watching. Always watching. The magic was a means to an end. It gave us... It gave me the power to fight for what I believed. Fighting for what you believe is commendable. But the ends do not always justify the means. You don't really believe that, do you, Win? Change rarely comes peacefully. Andraste waged war on the Imperium. She didn't write them a strongly worded letter. She reshaped civilization, freed the slaves, and gave us the Chantry. But people died for it. We thought, someone always has to take the first step. Force a change, no matter the cost. Nothing is worth what you've done to this place. And now Aldred's gone mad, and we are scattered. Doomed to die at the hands of those who seek to right our wrongs.
What else can I do? I'm trapped here. Please, if you spare me, I... I could escape and seek penance at the Chantry. You know, they'll never take you. They're very picky about who they let in. Harlots, murderers, yes! Maleficarum, oh no. I just want my life. Please. I'll find a way, please. I swear I'll do something good with my life. Mages from before the Circle, and before the Chantry held them in check. Are the demons gone? Is it safe? I don't want to, to die. If you're sure it's safe, I could take a peek outside. Oh, oh yeah, yes. I have a crick in my back and my bum's gone numb. Oh, holy maker, look at this. Those demons didn't know what hit them, did they? Godwin, mage of the Circle of Ferelden, at your service. There were demons everywhere, blocking my exit. I decided that the best thing to do in that situation was to hide and be very, very quiet. I just really want to be somewhere safe. I think I might stay here for now. 
Maybe go back into my closet for a little while. And go where? The Templars have locked the door. I'm just going to stay here and see what happens. Thank you again for saving me. May we meet again in happier, less life-threatening times. What do you need? There's nothing here! There must be... There you are. Yes. Very well. This is not fair. Why is it always me? 
monkey that has to bleed. Ready. All right. Books, books, books. Is that all these majors do with their time here? you get the feeling things are just getting worse as we go up? Yes. And I'm off. Please do unnatural 
always smell so awful. going. The boy is dead. He touched something beyond the veil and was not prepared. Going. Hmm.
for you. And I'm off. Crap. So simple to see, really. Going. What now? Hmm. All right. Yes. Thank you. That was an uncomfortable experience. If all were made tranquil, this would not have happened. Oh, oh. 
resurrect me. going.
of arrogance by some powerful idiot who didn't keep his thoughts to himself. All right. It is time for supper. Yes, my love. Everything is just as you wanted, my knight. Our love and our family is more than you hoped for. Do you hear something, love? It is nothing, my darling. Just the door. I will get it. The children have finished supper. Tuck them into bed while I see who it is. Don't be long. The children will want to kiss you goodnight. I will be but a moment, my pet. You are intruding upon a loving, intimate moment, and I dislike disruptions. Happiness is bewitching. There is a certain power in all things mortals delight in. I have given him what he always wanted. Where is the harm in that? All emotion is intangible. You cannot see it. Cannot grasp it. But it is normally caused by something real. Real events, real people. 
What you've done to him is... is abhorrent. I saw his loneliness and longing for a family that loved him. Apparently, you can get your desire and still suffer horribly. Tis truly a lesson for all who consider marriage. How long will you keep him in this stupor? Will he know it when his body fails and death claims him? A short, blissful existence is preferable to an interminable one of misery. You do not see what I see of him. You do not know. We are partners. I give him what no one else can, and through him, I experience what it is to be mortal. What happiness! He has gone through life empty, resentful of his vows. You would return him to this? I want nothing from you. I have what I need. All I ask is that you leave us alone. Then you leave me no choice. Help! There are bandits at the door. They're going to murder the children. They will not get past me! More of these? All right then. Ah! It's not bad! <laughs> <laughs>
I'm off. Don't look now. Yes. Direct me. Begin the onslaught. It is time for summer. Yes, my love. Everything is just as you wanted, my knight. Our love and our family is... Do you hear some? It is nothing. The... I... You are intruding upon a loving, intimate moment, and I dislike disruptions. I have given him what he always wanted. Where is the harm in that? All emotion. A, a short, blissful existence is preferable to an interminable one of misery. What? I want nothing from you. I have what I need. All I ask is that you leave us alone. Perhaps we will escape. Perhaps we will not. Then you leave me no choice. Help! <laughs> huh. One never expects ah! creatures like those, really. <laughs> Well. 
On it. <laughs> Down you go. I'm off. Speak. Very well. Time for more practice. Amusing. Let's try. Ah. All right, okay. I'm off. 
All right. Visitors, I'd entertain you, but too much effort involved. He's just resting. Poor lad, he was so very, very weary. You want to join us, don't you? Wouldn't you like to just lay down and forget about all this? Leave it all behind. Can't keep eyes open. Someone pinch me. This is ridiculous. You cannot expect me to rest on a floor sticky with blood. Resist. You must resist, else we are all lost. Why do you fight? You deserve more. You deserve a rest. The world will go on without you.